In this video, we shall talk about what is requirement and why requirements are so important. As usual, please read and remember the following definition of what a requirement is in information technologies. You can pause this video and read this text. But uh, we shall absolutely mention that requirement in IT is like requirement in real life. The only difference uh, that may be is the specifics. Here we talk about some system, some application, a component and so on. But nevertheless, uh, requirements are about what should be done. What should the result of some project development be? Of course, requirements are a part of a general project documentation. As you can see, uh, there is a lot, a lot of other options here. There is no need to memorize all of them. This is only to widen the horizon of your knowledge. So, take a quick look at what is product documentation, project documentation. You can see a lot of something interesting here. But in this uh, video we shall focus on these requirements. But just remember that uh, there is a lot of other documentation and all the documentation should be uh, decent for the project to succeed. So why requirements and documentation uh, in general are so important? Some of you may know this picture. It's rather old one coming from the 70th of the last century. And as you can see, here is the main bad thing that's coming from pure documentation. Lack of documentation leads to such a disaster when uh, that what a user or a customer really wanted and the process and the results differ so much. Uh, the problem is in pure documentation. If documentation was good, there would be no such bad situation. And another picture illustrating the importance of documentation and requirements. Here we see the time and the money. Mm, how much does it cost at the beginning of the project when we are just planning or working with requirements, when we are just discussing something, speaking about something, how much does it cost to correct a mistake? Very, very few dollars. Okay, maybe not so few, but uh, when we compare it to this figure, when uh, someone made a mistake there and then it developed, 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 so here we may even need to start the project from the very beginning. Uh, for instance, imagine such a picture. As far as I know, it happened in uh, one city in reality. That you know, there is a road and a building should be constructed. Some social building like a museum. And when the roof of the building was finally constructed, it was discovered only at that time that it was built backwards. So, that side should have been facing the road. So, once again, how much it would cost us to rotate the map from the beginning and to construct the building the right way? Nothing. But to destroy the already constructed building and to build it again, that would cost millions of uh, dollars and uh, no one would do that. Okay, once again, the earlier we detect the problem, the cheaper it is to fix the problem. And uh, all the earlier stages mm, are somehow related to documentation. Of course, uh, documentation works here, but the first possibility to find and uh, fix uh, the problem is uh, in the beginning. So that's why documentation is so important. And the last picture here, as we can see, 75%. According to the statistics, 75% of all troubles in 
IT. Projects are originated from documentation. So if we work with the documentation well, if we fix all the troubles in documentation, we can eliminate Okay, not all that 75%, but a lot of those 75% of troubles from our project. And now we shall talk in the next videos about instructions and techniques of working with requirements more in details.